Ni hao everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here in Kaiserreich playing as a beautiful Dominion of Canada. As you can see, we have naval exercises in the Atlantic and actually I decided to basically merge New England with the USA just because I got tired of seeing them independent and hopefully this makes America a little bit stronger and eventually they can core the stuff over here. But we'll see what happens. Also, last time we went to war with the other India, Bharatiya Commune, and right now I did double check. The Prince of Federation wants to incite Kashmir to rebellion, and there's about 20 more days left, so I think it's just best to wait. Once it becomes September 37th, then we will see um, whether or not these guys will go to actually go to war with each other. Hopefully, but we let's read this uh, naval exercise in the Atlantic event. With the international situation deteriorating, it is imperative we demonstrate our strength and exercise our right to a free passage in the Atlantic. To this end, the Ad Admiralty has scheduled an extensive array of fleet maneuvers and war games in the North Atlantic. We can play it safe, but the Admiralty seems to believe that we could also challenge a navy of roughly equal measure to a bit of a game if they're up for the challenge. Doing so would be risky, but the experience for a navy would be much greater. Uh, conduct a large exercise off the coast of Britain and Ireland. Cool. Uh, let's see. Conduct a large exercise in the North Sea. Conduct a normal exercise in Canadian territorial waters. In the North Sea? Uh... Let's go big or go home. Let's try that one. Also, let's see. France wants us, wants us to join the fight against the Communist of France. Uh, mm, I'm good. I really want to see what happens over here. That's my main goal. So, when, so I was recommended in the comments from yesterday, or the video prior, that I begin using and abusing the Indian manpower. I will, because we definitely need it. Uh, you know what? We might be able to grab it now, if possible. Not much, but not bad, not bad. So we got to wait till September 37th and wait to see what happens. Hopefully Germany doesn't fall. It looks like they're doing pretty okay, actually, down here. They're not doing great in Dunkirk, but okay. Naval maneuvers won. We challenged the British Navy and won the day naturally. Our experienced captains ran circles around the British ships and made them look like fools. Political power, naval XP, and won naval maneuvers. More fleet coordination and naval experience gained for 10% for 180 days. Beautiful, my friends. As we're still building ourselves up and the fate of the West Indies. Oh, yeah, we can still do that. Hmm. A, a royal address. Suppress the exiles. Eh. Hey, oh. You, hey, they became the United States of America, and now they're so yellow, which is kind of disgusting, but whatever. We could support them, I guess. No investment there. Let's see. Build dockyards. Oh, I would love to build dock. Ooh, aluminum. Aluminum. Or oh, steel. Jesus Christ. We got plenty of aluminum, actually. Way more than enough aluminum. Uh, we still need more military factories, which kind of sucks. We want to get some medium tanks eventually. Maybe. So we'll see what happens. Uh, naval bombers will be very, very, very important. We just need more steel to build these big old ships. Even if I build these ships up, all you get is a naval dockyard, and we don't even have enough steel to really build them. This really sucks. This really, really, really sucks. Ooh, Rally of the Exiles, great! More manpower and political power, nice, very good. There's another comment yesterday saying that we should create Quebec as an independent puppet. That'd be cool, but I don't think there's a way for us to do that. I said that'd be cool earlier, but I would like to have the option, maybe? I think that'd be kind of cool, but regardless, we still don't have the option. Ooh, arms factories. I wish we could get more resources. I really wish we could. Amphibious invasion speed. Project plow. Retake the home islands. Oh, that'd be pretty good, actually. Marine stuff. <clears throat> Create an intelligence agency. Ooh, that's not bad. Contact the loyalists. That's not bad either. Ooh. <clears throat> Special forces capacity multiplier. Better guns. That's not bad. I'm going to go within arms reach. Our biggest obstacle to the retaking the home islands, aside from the opposition of syndicalists themselves, is a vast distance across the Atlantic we need to cross. We either need to increase our reach or investigate places closer to Britain from which to stage our invasion. Yes, please. Now, we have enough political power. War propaganda would not be bad, but we really don't need that right now. Uh, we can do fate of the West Indies. So, recreate the Federation after a long campaign in the good portion of the Caribbean. Now, region is now under our control. We must decide what to do with its many scattered islands. Yeah. Liberate only the core islands. That's, nah, I'm okay. Also, I forgot. I should take back Belize. That was originally ours, or actually the West Indies. It is under Central American c control for now. But we'll see what happens. Uh, what can we do here? Uh, I think it's best to go to close economy, but let's see. Oh, plus 15%. Ooh, don't tease me with such a good time. Refinery construction speed isn't bad either. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, more soft attack. That's not bad. You can produce more equipment. Artillery is a little better as well. Ooh, armored car production cost is not bad. Manufacturers. That's not bad either. I like this stuff. I like all this stuff. Capital ship manufacturer. It's probably best to do this stuff now. Cruisers, not bad. Carriers. Ooh. Capital ship manufacturer. You get more deck size and more range for carriers, which is what we want to focus on. Or armor, anti air, and sub visibility. Definitely a Davy ship building deal. That's a better one to choose. Over here first, though. This stuff isn't bad. I like all this stuff. 
more population which we could use immediately. Ooh, look at that population we have. Recruitable manpower, I mean. Uh, actually, right before I started this start recording, I did have my second energy drink. So if I talk a little bit faster than normal, it is what it is. Ooh, research speed. That might not be bad. Mm, I like that. I like that a lot. Mm. Come on. I just want to see if... Well, America's over there. Not putting out the Germans. I want to kill off the rest of the Indian nation. There's a subcontinent. This way, we can have a very, very long fanging government, or very, very strong India, which could contest Japan's power, or even a United, 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 United China, potentially either. So, I really want to have a very strong India. Very, very strong. And of course, these guys, the Spanish, did join us last time. So, if any, in any case, the way we're going to try to take out... Oh boy, there goes the Ukraine. Oh boy. Uh, the Commune of France. Austrian Empire joined the Second Weltkrieg. Oh, that's good for you guys. We're probably to invade France first, and then invade the Union of Britain. But that's okay. I'm going to kind of wait and see what happens. Yeah. Come on, guys. Come on, and invade. Incite Kashmir. And please incite Kashmir. Not aggression packs. Yeah, I don't think so. Actually, how long would it take for us to go to war with these guys? Uh, you know what? Just in case, let's do that. Because I don't want to come back to India. I already have almost all my entire army here. So, why don't we just, like, get it over with? Oh, look at the Republic of China. Oh, well, that's not good. That's This is good, though. Getting better fighters. Get some better naval bombers. Those are very, very nice. Um, no, let's click over here. There we go. Get some better carrier fighters if we can. We got another division being made. Great, great, great. We have our horses over here, which are okay. Uh, if you guys need to, we might train these guys. Come on. Oh, Buenos Aires, Lima, Axis. Okay, then. Inside the rebellion. Okay, they incited the rebellion. Uh, I hope Germany holds. Please go to war. Please go to war. Dominion of India, please go to war. Oh, there you go. Destroy the southern traitors. Yes. Yes. Decide. Okay, no, they went to war immediately anyways. Sweet. I'm going to join wars immediately so we can get this over with. Immediately. Uh, I think we had our subs down here. Yeah, we did have our subs. Wow, that really sucks. You only have one ship there. There you go. Spread yourselves out a little bit better. Tom Phillips, he, he lost quite a few subs in the last episode. But he should be doing better. Uh, yes, let's go to war. Can we just do a general push with everyone here? Maybe, maybe not. We have these guys, Marines, who did a great job helping us take out those enemies last time, which was awesome, awesome, awesome. Put you under here. We split up the special forces last time. Actually, I'm going to tell you guys to go home for now, maybe? Oh, actually. Uh, sure. That's fine. Can we go to war with these guys? Oh, they're a puppet of Mexico. Okay, then. You know what? That might not be a bad idea. Take out Mexico. Put them under, like, our administration. Put up, Make Mexico a puppet of us, as well as Central America. That might not be a bad idea. Especially before we go to war with these guys. That might not be terrible. Um, hmm. Because the sooner we wait... The worst it could become for us against Mexico. And this will help us make sure that we're okay on this side of the sphere. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, you know, on second thought, you know what, maybe not. They might attack America. America should be able to hold. I mean, they don't. They have a lot of divisions. They're not necessarily great. They should be able to hold. So, we'll see what happens. What's going on over here? Oh, stuff over there. Uh, yes, if you'd like to join. That's fine. Cool. Uh, it looks like we're doing pretty well overall. Yes, we definitely want to finish off India. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And it looks like we're doing a very good job. So after this, then we're going to station our soldiers in France. Or France. Well, what will be France, but we're going to station our soldiers in Spain. And then go to war. I think that'd be for the best. Sorry, not really interested in joining yet. Expand dockyard, return of the king. All hands on deck at war with the Union of Britain. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I like that. We could definitely use that. Let's get some more political power first. High deck investments, rally stuff, develop aluminum, war propaganda. King Edward announces intent to marry. Oh, no, 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 no. In an announcement that has stunned the Canadian government, King Edward today announced that he intended to marry American film star Constance Bennett. The announcement follows months of speculation regarding the relationship, with insiders commenting uh, that the king was so in love with Constance that as if he, it's as if, if he's drunk. The problem with the King's announcement, however, is that Constance Bennett, while unclear of religious affiliation, is a twice-divorced woman who is still legally married to her third husband, Henri de la Falaise. 
as its nominal head of the Church of England, which does not permit the divorce to remarry with a living former spouse. This is clearly unacceptable for the king, and already the Dominion of Canada and the remains of the Empire are tearing themselves apart over what this could mean. Unbelievable. Uh, come. She. Oh my. You don't to marry someone like that. Come on, man. Come on. Stop, think, stop thinking with your little will of your heart. Come on, man. Let's get some nuclear research. Why would you do that, no matter what they say? So, both the Canadian government as well as the British government in exile have both been gripped in a crisis of conscience ever since the announcement of the king's engagement. Many are suggesting that King Edward should abdicate the throne if he wishes to go through with the marriage. Indeed, even the British exiles, normally the unquestioned backers of the king on almost any matter, are at odds with one another, with some claiming that the empire cannot endure an abdication, while others say that upholding tradition is the only thing keeping the empire alive. Much of the public is up in arms, and at the moment, the Canadian Prime Minister is reaching out to other leaders in the empire for advice. Oh, dear! Okay, seriously, like, why are you making this such a big deal? Like, I know I'm an American, but come on. This is, this is kind of stupid. Just make him abdicate. Abdicate. I don't know why he fancies this weird American person, but come on. Let's be realistic. You can do better than that, Edward. No matter what game she plays, you can do better. Ah, uh, yes. So around the evil Indians. Those that do not like to listen to reason and, uh... Confidence. The West Indies Federation supports application. Well, they don't really have much of a say since they already rebelled against us, but they've reached out to us expressing concern over what they see as the king's placing of personal desires over the needs of the empire. They see the monarchy as important to the West Indies Federation, but has, it has to be led by monarch they can all respect. Uh, let's see, basically the same thing for every, South Africa. And the Australasian Confederation supports a king. A confessing support for King Edward and his intended marriage, while it's perhaps a problem for the Church of England, they see continuity of the king's rule as being more important to the stability of the empire. Well, at least we all get everyone's knowledge about what they think the king should do. Uh, Eddie, son, come on, man. The king's plea. Oh my gosh. As the crisis surrounding the engagement to Constance Bennett de deepened this weekend, with several members of his own privy council calling on him to either rescind his promise or abdicate the throne, King Edward today made a public plea via the Canadian National Radio to the people of the British Empire. In his broadcast, the king vowed that his love for Constance was true as is hers for him. Neither of them sees Constance's current marriage as an impediment, and what's more, the king believed that in these modern times, a prohibition of the Church of England should alone keep him from serving his people in good faith. With the crisis shortly to reach a high point in Parliament, it remains to be seen whether the king's attempt to garner goodwill with the public will bear fruit. We shall see. Why? Why? Get over her. Come on, man. Go find someone else. This is not the time to do this, Edward. Ah. The question of abdication, which we'll read after this. Uh, Project Plow. If we're to perform a naval invasion, we need to access not only to superior landing craft, but also a division of Royal Marines who will be able to stand at the forefront of the assault. Good, good, good. Motorized. Actually, this motorized. Yeah, this is the old one. We don't care about that. Afrikaner division. Yeah, we don't care about that either. Uh, Marines. I doubt I could throw any more Marines on here yet, right? Oh, I can. Nice. Can I throw another one on? Oh, I can. Awesome. Perfect. We need more uh, support companies. The question of abdication, though. The queen of. The queen? The question of King Edward's abdication has come to a fore. Seeing as the king refuses to abandon his engagement under any circumstances, the Canadian government must now decide, should he be forced to abdicate the throne? Edward has indicated his willingness to step down if the government should force his hand, though he says he will do so regretfully, and with a great concern for the empire's well-being. Others are less concerned about the fate of the empire, though the king does have still have supporters throughout this country declaring their ardent support for the king in this time of crisis. He must abdicate? Oh, crap. King Edward is our king, and he remains so. Unpopular monarch. Oh, we're gonna get we're gonna lose pop market liberal support. Ooh, we lose less, but he, he's got to abdicate. I'm sorry, but the king's successor. With Edward stepping down from the throne, now the question of who will succeed him has arisen. The logical choice would be Prince Albert. He is the eldest heir in favor of the late King George, though there is concern regarding both his health and profound lack of social ability. Is he the right choice to lead the empire? With normal succession already thrown out of the window, it would be possible for another prime or another prince to be chosen. Prince Henry is considered a biddable man and has military experience that would be of great use, and Prince George, meanwhile, is the youngest, but is charismatic and already has a son to ensure the future king to follow him. Uh, Albert. Uh, let's see. Henri, Duke of Gloucestershire, stops being a general. Um, so it was recommended, like, my like very first or second episode in this campaign, that I choose Albert. So, because of that person who left that comment, I'm going to choose Albert because you said so. Hello, handsome. Oh, uh, popular figurehead. Stability. He's a little bit humble, so we lose political power, but... Oh my goodness, that's so bad. Goodbye, King Edward. Long live the king. We'll see what happens. Uh, I think we're doing a pretty good job in India, though. Pretty darn good job. Th these princely federation folk... They thought that the Empire would not be backing the rest of India? Come on, man. Now, I probably should stop attacking, like, all willy-nilly, but we still got a little bit of manpower, right? Uh, let's see. Oh, the Union of Britain is doing some major damage. Ah, 
Oh, but you even landed. But you didn't get into port, guys. Um, what's going on over there? They just showed up and... Ah, hello there. Alright, so it looks like we were pretty, doing pretty darn well here. Uh, how many men have we lost? 12,000? Call everyone in. They lost a quarter million. That is not bad for us. Not bad. Centralized fire control. Very good. And let's grab some port observers. Let's get more recon and reinforce rate. If we can take these guys out. Uh, that's not quite an encirclement. That's okay. Keep it up. Keep it up. Get that army XP for now. I'm going to focus more on... Uh, go ahead, get in there. Encircle them. Destroy them. Encircle and destroy. Because we can use and abuse more of the Indian manpower once a nation is... Hopefully. Reconnected. Mumbai is very close. You're doing a great job, guys. Over here, we could really use that area here. 16,000 have only lost their lives. Well, it is 16,000, so, but still, come on. We got this. Horses. Nothing? No, nothing yet. Okay. Uh, horses. Okay. 20 combat width, which is not bad. United Baltic Duchy, that's not a good sign. Our, go and throw some artillery on here. Do we have any spare artillery? We've got plenty of guns. Yes, we do. We have more than enough support equipment. No, we don't. So, good luck with that. We're going to use that for now. I'll, actually, you know what I should have done? Duplicate. Should have done this a little earlier. There you go. You are just the normal horse divisions. You guys come over here. There we go. That's better. So we don't have to just use up spare artillery pieces for now. Come on. We're shelling the living hell out of them. Hey, we made an encirclement. Beautiful. Oh, you guys go to Hyderabad. Good. Come on. You guys got this. You guys got this. We've taken Mumbai. They've killed over a third of a million. Georgia has capitulated. Uh, situation in Europe is not looking great. The Russians are definitely pushing in. And the Third International does not seem to be doing that well against Germany. Very strange. Very, very strange. Italian Federation is... Oh, boy. That's not good. Oh, they're gone. Come on. Break over. Take all the victory points. Oh, they actually got that back. Oh, good. America, yes. Yes, America, yes. Give us what we need. Newfoundland garrisons, go push that way. Running out of manpower. Not good. We will go to war very, very soon. Oh, they're protecting the capital. Of course they would be. Why wouldn't they? I know I would. Good. We cut these guys off. Uh, I don't remember where you're from, but okay. Why not? I dare bad is a frontline city, which is great. Another encirclement, and they're gone. We've already killed off over 400,000 of these enemies. America's lost more than we have. Huh. You know what would be cool if we could cut these guys off? That'd be actually really, probably, really boy now. There you go. Here we go. This is really giving our guys a ton of experience in the war against India. Love it. Establish a special branch. There's another avenue of warfare outside that of the battlefield. It's been proposed that we establish a special branch of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, aided by MI5 veterans living in Canada, and ensure that our counterintelligence efforts are second to none. Very, very good. You know what? You're going to sub out here. Take out the capital. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Good. Good. Don't let them in. Oh, we took Hyderabad, my friends. We lost it. Well, we've almost lost it. It's got to be really hot down here. I don't know anything about India. I know very, very little. India seems to be a very hot place to live. Oh, crap. We're out of manpower. Hmm. Fun the Icelandic. Icelandic resistance. Ooh. We take the Homiles. We go to war with them. Get some more support. We got to finish this war up. Uh, let's grab this. Be good. Nice. Beat them back. We've lost 23,000. They've almost suffered roughly half a million casualties. we got to get all the way down to Mysore. How many divisions have they left? Up to 26. Max. It's not bad. I kind of preferred if you went that way, actually. So, see what you can do about that. Um, I might recommend you guys go down there, to there, to there, to there. And circle those guys, kill them off. Anything over here? Ah, gunboy probably sunk. A little bit of lag. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What's going on? What's going on? The germ uh, did they release anything around here? No? Oh, yeah. We definitely got to go to war next. Okay, so after this, we got to finish this war and send all soldiers. All soldiers. We are going to Spain. Ah, the American tanks have arrived. Great. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Yes. Yes. And make that encirclement. I know attacking over rivers is a really, really, really bad idea, but go ahead and destroy these divisions. 
There's a total of one, two, three, four, nine. I can add. I can add. Woo! You can really tell I had an energy drink before I started recording this. All right. Very nice. Hey, we linked up with Portugal. Or Portugal's Goa. Good. Destroy them. Destroy them. Bangalore. Ooh, more dockyards. Can't, it's not like we can really use them either, though. Uh, We're already getting all that stuff. Maybe make some subs eventually? Maybe? We, oh, yeah. Let's make sure we have actually okay-ish subs before we actually make them. Aircraft facilities would not be bad. Let's just grab as many torpedoes as possible. There we go. There we go. Nice. Crush them, crush them, crush them. They've lost over 600,000 soldiers. We've only lost 25,000, which is really nice. Come to my sword. Move, 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 move. Crush them. I love the American light tanks. Come on, come on, come on. Horses, go, go, go. You come to... And then go there. Bengal is ours. Put them in their place. Take Mysore. Good. We gotta hurry up. We gotta hurry up. How have they not capitulated yet? What the heck? Oh my goodness. Oh, there goes. Oh god, that's not good. Illyria's gone. No, 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 no. Come on, go, 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 go. Ah, we did it. We did it, my friends. Now India is united under one banner, and they shall be great. Beautiful. Immediately move everyone. Well, hold on. Maybe not everyone. I'm going to actually have these guys stay home. Uh, stay home in Canada just in case things might not go well for us. You guys. Come to Spain. It's time that we do this. Is it La Coruña or is it A Coruña? When I play as TNO, you know, the, last, the New Order, Last Days of Europe, it's A Coruña. Cancel, please. What's going on? Declare war? Oh, my goodness. So many things are going on. We will go to war very, very soon. Very soon. Abysmal support of the British. Influence of the British exiles is abysmally low. Oh, boy. Happy 1941, though, my friends. It's going to be a great, great year for us. Uh, for now, go ahead and invest in the French Empire. Hey, Muscat. Hey, thanks for joining. I don't know why we didn't get an event about that, but okay. Oh, God, this is not looking good. Don't fall, Vienna. Oh, God, this is not looking good. I need my soldiers over there immediately. India is united. I'm so glad we united India. I don't know in any... In, when you guys play Kaiserreich in your campaigns, do you... Is India ever really united? Do you guys ever unite India? I don't know. Um, this is not bad to do. It's not really ideal. I want everyone, though, to come here to Spain. I'm so glad we helped out Spain earlier. Woo! We might suffer greatly. Okay, so here's the idea. Germany might fall. They actually probably will fall. Uh, Austria is definitely going to fall, which means Germany's going to fall. If that happens, we're going to have one big old tussle against us and the... Uh, wow, we finished everything up here. That's not good. Uh, tussle between us and uh, Third International. But my hope is that it'll be okay because Russia will eventually go to war with the Third International as well. Usually in almost every campaign I play in Kaiserreich, they go to war. So, this special branch, great! I'm glad we don't have to even do that. So... Let's do this one. Not every supporter of the monarchy was able or willing to flee Britain. There are many back home just waiting for the chance to take up arms for a cause, or perhaps more usefully, to pass us information on the syndicalist plans and placements. Yes, please. Let's go and continue building up infrastructure because eventually we will have the ability to build more areas here. But first, I will be right back. All right, sorry about that, but let us continue right where we left off before the fade out and, uh, and after we fade in. Cool. Uh, join here with my cat, of course, Binky. Laying on the ground, having a good time, and come on, soldiers, get over here quickly. Ah, the ships are over here, which is very, very nice. Very good, guys. Very good. I do not want to go to war until we have our soldiers over here, so yeah, that would be a very bad idea if we decided to go to war now. Oh, uh-oh. Looks like France has actually pushed the Germans back, which is not good. Probably because Germany sent soldiers down to help out with in Austria, which was a bad idea for them to join, but oh, that's not good. Oh! Um... Okay, I don't remember doing that, but okay. Do you mobilize the economy? Retain the, you take the whole miles. Yes, all hands on deck. Good lord, we need some political power. Oh yeah, we'll definitely invite these guys in. That'd be good, and they'll probably say yes. Recruit head of intelligence. That would not be bad. Uh, build arms factories. Yeah, we can't do that yet, which sucks. 
I know, France. I know. Muscat agrees to join, which is a great thing. 25. Not bad. Not bad. 930 manpower. Not bad either. Floating fortresses. Cool. Thank you. Let's go ahead and make sure we get some even better carrier organization and escort cruiser organization and naval air agility from carriers. Love it. I don't think we have any extra spare ships yet. No, we do not. That is fine. You guys are moving to Rhode Island. Okay. Well, that's okay. You guys see over there. Union of Britain. Actually, let's look. Oh, there goes a the Pope. Okay. So we don't have much here. And actually, that's okay. Let's go ahead and start doing stuff over here. That'd be fine with me. We're trying to get some spies, which is cool. Uh, oh, that's actually owned by us. Or by the Entente. As these guys are trying to get over there. Okay. Oh, come on, guys. Move, 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 move. I know you're in the ocean. Oh, they're actually advancing on Germany. That is not good. Okay, so where are you guys at? Uh, for now, I'm going to put you under the other theater. There we go. The Home Guard. Mounties. Yes. Edmund Ironside. Very good. You guys, where are you at? Nice. Let's go ahead and start preparing an invasion. Uh, let's see. We might be able to take Brittany. Maybe. Hopefully, Bilbao. We got to make sure we actually take a port, though. So that would be good. You guys come from Oviado. Oviodo. Let's go to Brest. At least, as long as we get a port, we should be okay. That looks good. Um, I need better naval bombers, but we're going to go ahead and grab some more output first. And then get some more construction speed and stuff like that, which would be awesome. Go to th Go to five. That'd be fine, actually. Not looking bad on equipment. Maybe we could use a little bit more of this. Could use more equipment. The fall of Vienna. No! No, 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 no. Oh, don't fall, Illyria. I think they already fell, technically, though. Naples, don't fall, Naples. Oh, there goes Burma. That is not good. Yeah, I really want, wanted a strong India just so they can contest the Japanese, because the Japanese are looking kind of thick. Uh, these probably are not core states yet, are they? They're probably not, yeah. That's okay, though. Can't request any more stuff. Ah, good, good. Unify India. Don't lack too much. Ooh, wow, that's pretty good. I gotta play India someday. That sounds like a really fun nation to play as. Cool. Hey, operative. John Roberts. Oh, let's go with this person. Wilfred Dunderdale. Kind of a cool name. Yeah, Germany is slowly falling on all fronts. That really sucks for you guys. All right, so we got our soldiers over here, here, which is good. No, uh, we're going to go to war soon. We're going to go to war soon. And we're going to start running out of fuel. <laughs> uh, I, we, we have to go to war, but I have no manpower to go to war. Why do you hurt us like this? Why? It's 41... Go ahead and grab some more... Mm, we might need more fuel, actually. Get more construction speed first, I guess. Please don't die in the water over here. Please. Uh, I think everyone was using a level 2, right? I think that's what it was, right? Yeah, there we go. 40 combat width. Goodbye. Alright, so it looks like we have everyone over here. I think our ships are pretty much ready to go. Alright, shippies. Do your best. We're right here. We're going to start probably running out of fuel pretty quickly. Yeah, that does not look good. Holy crap. They have their orders. Go, and go home first. <laughs> yeah, we won't have enough fuel for that for days. So open up a new front against the French. I don't care if the Germans win or lose. All that matters is that we don't die. All right, it's time to go. We take the whole miles. Oh, 30 days? What? Oh, I should have clicked on that earlier. I should have read stuff. Uh, contact the Loyalists. Oh, not the Austrian Empire. No, 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 no. I should have read that read that one a little bit better. Oh well. Uh, where are the munition stuff? Oh my goodness, it's all the way down here. Holy cow. Let's update the Enfield then. Our guns are showing their age and effort must be made to push beyond the Enfield design into the modern era and beyond. Yes. Oh, 28 days. Please hold on, Germany, for another month. If you can hold on for another month, we can help you out. You know what? Screw it. We're just going to do this. Go ahead. Do what we can. Just don't lose too many ships. Holy crap. Um, sure. Yeah. Why not? Alright, so the guys are moving in. We're forming a department. Radio interception group one. That'd be great. We found some enemy ships. Blow them the hell up. Woo! Looks like they're doing okay. The chief of staff. With the war against the syndicals now upon us, King Albert is pressured the Prime Minister to make a choice as to who will lead the Canadian forces overall. We must choose wisely. The British commanders are skilled and will... Palais? 
plays the king as he wants. Probably please the king as he wants to see one of his own in charge of the invasion. The Canadian commanders, however, will be far more popular back home. Ironsides. Uh, that looks okay. We're not really focusing on armor. We get more political power, though. Oh, actually, we did get political power from some of these. So, Montgomery Massingbird will get us to London. More defense. Uh, Henry Crerar is our new commander. More organization and recovery rate and more war support. But we don't really need more war support. Chief of Staff. More recruitable population. Uh, infantry attack, division, defense. Uh, I like Iron Tech because he's using more political power as well as this guy. I like the max entrenchment, but we don't really need that for where we're going. Let's go with Kenneth Stewart. More infantry attack and defense. And cryptology. Yes, we'll need it against you guys and then you guys. That'll be fine for now. And my goodness, we are going to need so much more fuel. Which is actually fine with me because we actually can spend some of this. They already have and get some more from the good old USA. Okay, so it seems like they're winning so far down here. Uh, you guys, I'm not going to send you anywhere yet. I want to destroy the task force that's down here first. Hey, look at that. Beautiful. Go ahead. See if we can invade. If possible, that'd be great if we could. There's obviously some enemies up there, which is fine, but let's see what happens. Union of Britain sink their convoys. Good, good, good. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, a destroyer. Nice. Another destroyer? Oh, yeah, a little more of a task force. Good. Sink their soldiers. Oh, we might not be able to get breast. But if we get Lorient, that would be great. We got him. We got him, boys. We've got him. Oh, they're trying to navally invade us. If that's okay, send one guy up here. Go this direction. Cut off Brest. Send the boys over. Oh, shnikes. Their strength looks really bad. Then again, we did probably upgrade their size, so. Good. Good. Cut them off. Just don't get encircled, though. Good. Oh boy, they're coming in. They're coming in. Hold them in place. Hold them in place. We gotta win in breast first. Or let's get more soldiers over here. Come on, move, 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 move. Oh, we actually beat them up. Look at that. Oh, who's this? It's Zambia. Oh, Middle Africa. What is going on? Oh. Convoy sunk. Convoy sunk. They're actually. Are they actually pushing through? Not yet. Not yet. We did it, boys. We've got soldiers over here. And we're trying to take brass. This would be a great addition to the Empire, to the French, to the French. Great. Great. Just don't lose the port. For the love of God, don't lose the port. Come over here. Take brass. Take breast. We love breast. Good. And we've got him. Beautiful, my friends. This should help all the Germans at least a little bit, but at this point it might be a little bit too late. Uh, so be it. So be it. I'm going to actually retire you guys. I might send my entire army up here, too. Uh, we might, actually. You know what? If you can't, just push ahead. You guys, though, plan a naval invasion here to Bordeaux. Bordeaux. We can attack him from the back. We're going to need more fuel. Oh, God. Mm, which is fine. I love America. Hey, we still got three lines, so I'm not too worried about that. Actually, you know what? Let's decrease this one by uh, production over here. Actually, we get another refinery if you can. There you go. I was thinking about a civilian factory, but that's okay. Good, we're taking Brittany. Now we gotta make sure we hold on to it and advance, advance, advance. Go, 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 go. These guys are already making it back. That's awesome. I doubt you have an upgrade, Andrew, but yeah, that stuff is okay. Not really worth it. Smash him to bits. Oh god, we need more manpower. We don't have that much fuel either. The Ottoman... Okay! This is different. I don't remember the last time I actually saw that the Ottoman Empire joined the Reich's Pact. Now, that is very interesting. Victory of the Dominion. Cool. Is the Raj at it again? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, we can request garrison support. Uh, yeah, we do need more foreign manpower. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what are you smoking, India? Hi. We're going to need more fuel again. If we could race more quickly to Paris, they could take out all of these guys. That'd be fine with me. I don't really care about Germany that much, as you can tell. Oh, they're pushing through the southern portion. Go, America. Go, go, go. Alright, you know what, before we do go too far, though. 
one big unified line. Oh, did we lose something? That's not good. Oh, we lost a convoy. That's not good. Oh, no. Yeah, we could really use more political power. Holy crap. Argentina. Oh, Argentina and Brazil, huh? Looks like we're going to even need more fuel. Double the capacity that we already asked for. Double the amount. Good. Do we, oh, do we make that? No, we did not. There we go. Now we should have enough fuel. We're getting Cherbourg. Love it. All right, boys. Time to invade Bordeaux. Let's see if we can swing around them. Even without a whole bunch of strength here. We seemingly, we seemingly do okay around here. You guys should be able to take it. Doesn't seem like there's anyone blocking us for now. Can we take the city of Bordeaux? The fall of Berlin. Oh, great union for the Br Union of Britain. Great victory for the Union of Britain. That is scary bad. Scary bad. Find those convoys. Sink them. Sink them and stink them. Okay, there was no one here. Take the tanks. Move quickly around. Right there. And move right there. To ensure some uh, defensive maneuvers. Uh, defensive positions. That'd be great. The collapse of the... Oh, god dang it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oof. That is not ideal. Yeah, and that was going to be some serious lag. So... That's interesting that the Ottoman Empire joined the Reichspact, but now it's probably going to be left independent as they're trying to kill off the Commune of France and the Union of Britain. But we're probably actually going to... There's a good chance that we could, maybe, capitulate the Commune of France before things get too badly. Which means if they annex, like, Belgium and the Netherlands and a good chunk of Germany, that means we could probably get them under us as well. Which would be very, very interesting. Peace conference? Yes, yes, yes. Of course, there's going to be peace conference. Oh, I am sorry about that. If that was a little loud. We're gonna move. Oh my goodness. You know what? We're gonna do a little risky maneuver here. We go that direction. Oh, we're we're doing a, a tremendous job here through here so far. I should get more special forces though. Oh, there's gonna be a little bit of lag as people release are releasing nations, which is fine, whatever. I just need more manpower. With all this lack of political power, this is not this is not nice. This is not really fair, actually. It seems like with all this happening. It's just not good. Okay, come on. Stop trying to release nations. Ugh, Kaiserreich, why do you lag so much? It's not because of Kaiserreich, probably just because of the Hoi 4 engine. Ugh. I just want Paris. Oh, there we go. There we go. That took out so many different states. Well, it's getting cleaned up a little bit more, I guess. Serbia's looking nice and thick, though. If we can get down there, that'd be great. Oh, we linked up. Great! Awesome, guys. Oh, come on. Stop releasing nations. Uh, uh, if you guys could attack down here, that'd be great. Yes, yes. Oh, there goes the German Empire. Are they down here? Oh, no, that looks, that looks pretty bad. Yeah, That's eh, not too bad, actually. Oh, the Italian nations united. That's good for them, I guess. Don't really care. The French Empire... Oh, shnikes. Actually, you can go... Actually, go that way. Oh, Morocco, why? Why, Morocco? Actually, can I ask anyone else for, like, manpower or anything? Request garrison support? No. No. Portugal? No. Costa Rica. West Indies Federation. Come on, India. Come on. Can't really get anything from them. Portugal's still down there. Yeah, I don't think we get anything from anybody. Hmm. Puerto Rico? No. French Empire, Spain. Uh, I doubt America would give us anything, yeah. Oh, that is big L disappointment energy. Hey, but you know what? At least we got down here. That's great. That's what I want you to do. Push, push, push as hard and as fast as you possibly can right now. Keep them in place. Don't let them move. They can't get that many supplies anyways right now, so. A little bit more lag. Fuel's not looking great. It is what it is. You know what? If that's the case, we're going to go ahead and retire you for now. And by retire you, I mean just like kind of go home. Hang out. Should save on fuel at least just a little bit. Oh, and there goes Southern Germany. Hello. And there's... Is that... Well, that's not Prussia yet. There is the... The Rhineland one. And there's... Oh, there's the Rhineland one. That's Hanover. Oh, the... 
front, 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 update the Enfield. Very nice, very nice. Expand artillery power. Uh, mm, Mountaineer technology. Recovery rate. New warfare. Focus on the army. Uh, organic support elements. The modern industrialized army is increasingly in need of specialized support elements like engineers and scouts to achieve the best results in the field. We should focus efforts on developing these capabilities and ensure that they receive the best equipment they, we can produce. Yes, please. Go, 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 go. Can you help them out here? No? Okay, then you move this way. God, our guys are looking so incredibly weak. Come on, kill these guys off. Oh, whoops. You guys come right here. Take them out, take them out, take them out. Romania joined the Moscow Accord. Of course they would. Come on, America. Do the best you can. Oh, we're so close to Paris. Oh, there goes Flanders. Oh, they went to war like Liberia of all nations. Okay, man. You guys doing a pretty good job. Camouflage expert. Eh, that stuff is okay. With no manpower, the fall of Batavia. The East Indies shall have a new master. Oh, boy. Oh, Lithuania's looking kind of big. There goes... Oh, Prussia. But they don't have all of Prussia. Huh. That is peculiar. Okay, then. There's Czechoslovakia there. Galicia, Lodomeria. The fall of Paris. We've done it, my friends. We've capitulated... Or not... We haven't capitulated them yet. But we're doing a pretty good job so far with no manpower, I'd say. Come on. Just kill them off. There's only four... No, you're not going to stop attacking. No. No, no, no. You have, you cannot stop attacking right now. This little pocket has to die. Oh, whoops. I did everyone there. There we go. That's a little better. Wallonia is gone. Valonia, whatever. Uh, get more soft attack or organization. It's just organization for the most part. That's fine. Oh, God. They're getting their soldiers back here, which is not good. We're still doing pretty well, though. Man, that is a lot of lag. Oh, Slovenia there, I guess. Oh, we're doing a good job, pretty much. Oh, wait, do we have another? No, we don't. Uh, the game, why are you tell me that, then? Convoys, good. America, come on. I'm, I'm saying America a lot, just because... Well, the Americans probably have the biggest industrial base out of everyone here, so... Yeah. Come on, crush them, crush them. Oh, yeah, Sardinia. I doubt they have any manpower I could grab from them. Yeah, that's what I thought. Portugal, please. Can I have a little bit of manpower? Just just, just a little bit. Just just a tiny bit. All I want is a little. Oh, boy. Now you guys are going to have to stop attacking. Uh, up here, stop attacking. They're wasting lives. Oh, my goodness. Our army's looking so incredibly weak. Holy cow. We've done a really good job so far, though. But, man, this is blisteringly painful to see. We might be able to invade through here and take out Dunkirk, maybe. We've done a really good job so far, though, I'd say. We're out of fuel. God dang it. Come on. Oh. Fall of Warsaw? I see. Okay. Uh, we're still doing stuff there. That's fine. We lost some stuff. So be it. So be it. Sinking so a lot of convoys, which is nice. Alright, so at least hold the line for now. That's the best we can do. There goes Poland. Hmm. West Indies Federation asks for a general. They need foreign expertise in furthering their army as fellow subjects of the crown. It is our duty to help them become more proficient in liberating their home island. The high command has decided that Philip Nimi would be best for the job. Uh, that's fine. Go ahead. Oh, Phoebe. Phoebe. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're getting invaded in southern France. We are? Huh. Alright, so we gotta stop attacking. This is unfortunate. So sad. Stack up soldiers. Stack up soldiers. We did the best we could in the past few days. Oh my goodness, we actually lost quite a few guys. Oh, they have a fleet down here. That is not ideal. Do we have... Actually, we should have got more fighters earlier. Oh, we have no manpower though. God dang it. Mm. Good. Find their task forces and sink the living crap out of them. They invaded us at Bordeaux. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's not good. How many minutes have we lost, actually, so far? Well, we've lost 55,000, which kind of sucks. But we've killed off a lot of them. We've killed off a ton of them. 
Nice. Cool. Give it back to the French Empire. Morocco. Oh, are you kidding me, guys? Come on. Good. I'm glad the guys were actually over here, which is a good thing for us. Alright, you guys. If you can. Can you actually win that way? You might be able to. Tell the Marines win, and tell these guys to win as well. They should be able to push over here. And if we can move quick enough, so they're not miscapitulated, you should be able to get up to Dunkirk. Oh, economic advisors are gone. That's not good. Come on. Good. And then go right there, and then there. Take out Dunkirk. Beep, bink. Oh, look at that. Some convoys. Some Italian convoys, I should say. Plenty of fuel for now. Uh, that's a case. Uh, I have to tell all you guys to do this then. You're all in. The tanks gotta go up there. Hold them in place for now. Attack them. Attack them. Don't let them move. For the love of God, do not let them move. Oh boy, they're actually up there. Okay then. You hold. I'm going to send you to Calais. It's fine. No worries. Lithuania is gone. Probably be liberated very soon. You got to hold. You can't move. Why the heck are you moving? Carol of Romania expels the Iron Guard. Well, that's, that's good. Kill these soldiers off. Kill them off. Good. Oh, we actually were defeated a little bit. They have six divisions here, but completely encircled. Hopefully, they will perish. Good. Uh, and at this point, you know what? I, we can't do a focus because we gotta get rid of this debt. I mean, look at this debt of political power. That is absolutely unacceptable. That is a bit too much. But you know what? Let's invest some money or some political power because we can. So much we're trying to do our focus tree because, well, we can't because we need to get rid of all this political power debt. Oh, we lost four more destroyers. God dang it. I I want more political power so at least we can do like all hands on deck because I can I need the the you know manpower uh, investors. I'm thinking we get this assist for the economy. That'd probably be good, yeah. We got all three more steel. Not bad. Not great. But not bad. You guys are over here relining yourselves. That's fine. Special forces. Doing a pretty good job. Alright. So down here, the south is a really big problem. In the north, though, we should have we should be able to find some success if we attack Lille. We go over here and go over there and surround and kill off Dunkirk. That is the objective. We're missing light tanks. Kaiser Realm the second is dead. Well, that's not good. Uh, let's see. Light tanks. We'll do that. We'll do some of this as well. You can lower this by five, maybe. Maybe not. Put you below that, maybe. Cannot deploy. Oh, I need more manpower. Oh, Venezuela. Venezuela. Why? Well, how, how dare you, Venezuela? How absolutely dare you? It's fine. Well, that's why I sent you home. See what you can do. I'm going to leave it up to our allies to deal with that. Uh, we don't have the resources to deal with it, really. Investments. I want to do America again, but they probably don't honestly need it. Do the Australasian Confederation for now. See, we're not just benefiting ourselves. We're trying to be benefit everyone here. Do you have any other upgrades yet? No, you don't. You're level 5, though. You're learning, supposedly. Oh, boy. What's going on here? What do we find? Oh, dreadnoughts. Oh, dearie me. That is a big enemy fleet. For so far, it seems like we're kind of equal in terms of trying to kill them off. We're doing a little bit better. Come on, Dreadnought, sink them, sink them, sink them. Come on. Hey, we got one. We got one, guys. We got one. Oh, we actually lost some escorts. Oh, that is not good. Hey, at least we sunk a Dreadnought, though. That's good. Oh, crap. Look at that. Come on, keep it up. Hey, you know what? That's a victory in my book. We lost four destroyers, but we sunk three enemy destroyers and a battleship. The battleship, though, is key to get rid of. It goes Bulgaria. All right, then. We sunk. We actually lost quite a few more guys. That's fine, whatever. We lost a carrier. How? Oh, my goodness. Go home. What the heck are y'all doing? You bunch of dinguses. Do not do that. Go home. We got to reform this navy. Ugh, that's so bad. Go, leap. No! Oh, that's when we really lost. Oh, that sucks so much. I thought I told you to go home. Wait, that was a victory? How was that a victory? We lost a goddamn carrier, and now it's not a great carrier. But still. Yeah, that's not ideal. Go, 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 go. 
Oh, they're trying to attack Bordeaux again. God. Oh, they got Bordeaux back. Are you kidding me? Get back, Bordeaux. You guys should be ready to go. Ooh, they really death stacked them here, huh? Hmm. All right, well, let's go this way. You should be able to win. Yeah, there you go. They might have some tanks, but that's okay. Tell the Marines to really kick those tanks into high gear. Well, our soldiers uh, were defeated pretty quickly. So be it. Yeah, you attack us. Yeah, see what happens. See what happens. Good. I kind of want to attack there immediately. We'll see what happens. Uh, so far, we're winning down here, which is good. All right, I'm going to take you guys actually back down here to the south. And we're going to do this. Try to cut them off, maybe. See what we can do. Disperse Industry 4. Great. Let's grab some more fuel, because we definitely need some more fuel. Uh, if we were finding 4, that'd be fine for now. If that's the case, we can probably lower the amount we need for this. And just increase it some more. Just trade them for it. Oh my god, we lost a battleship. Are you kidding me? Seriously. Come on, guys. Kill them off. Destroy them. God dang, this sucks not having manpower. Germany seeks to join the Entente. The Germans have, Germans have been defeated by the Syndicalist usurpers. As, while it was their fault that the Syndicalists have taken control of Europe, they are now in the same position as we are just a few years ago. Surprisingly, the Germans have sent a delegate to the Canadian government asking for an alliance, which I'll turn to be with concerns. Germany in an anti-German alliance of madness? Let them join? Allow them into the Entente with concerns. It's claims. Um, that actually would probably be best if we did that. Because we could probably have that. We'll do that and see if they join. They've not joined yet. I mean, I don't mind if they modify that some more, but... Come on, man. Alright, where are you guys at? Alright, so they're down here. They're kind of waiting. Yeah, the tank's not really sure what to do. Get them some more organization, because that one of those tank divisions is looking really weak. Large men of the Entente, the former members of the Reichspact Alliance, have followed the example of the German Empire, and are all members of our alliance. Great. Uh, over here, they just need more light... Thanks. Okay, we've got a thousand more manpower. Not bad. Please go to the carrier. Please, I need the carrier out now, now, now. Returns Canadian land. Cool. Our allies in the German government in exile have returned some of our proper land to us. Hey, we got 500 some manpower back. And they're gone. Yes. Well, let's see what we can do. Oh, wow. They're looking exceptionally weak down here. Holy cow. Marines, I know you're not the strongest right now. But you've got to win the war. Or win this battle, at least. Maybe not the war, but at least win the battle. Come on. Oh, God. They're gonna, they could potentially die here. Come on. Come on. Come on. The King's Speech. King Albert made a radio address to the Dominion of Canada today, calling on the people of the Empire to take heart in the war against the Union of Britain. There may be dark days ahead, but you warn, but the war is no longer confined to the battlefield, but we can only do the right thing as we see the right and reverently commend our cause to God. The speech was well received by both the Canadian government as well as the public. In reality, he's being hailed as exactly the king the Empire needs in these difficult times. Outstanding. Come on. You guys got this. You, you, you can keep attacking. You might be low on strength, but that's okay. Construction 4, nice. Oh, we're going to grab some more resource efficiency gain immediately. That's important. Yes, we've done it, my friends. We have encircled these gosh darn evil forces. Yeah, there you go. Something like that. Four more divisions shall be crushed. Too bad we can't capitulate the, the commune of France. That really sucks. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, do not lose it. Do not lose it. You cannot afford to lose this. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. I told you not to lose it. Don't lose it. Where am I? Get back over here. Oh, we actually lost the tank division. Where are you guys? Why are you down there? Go, 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 go. Good. Get the on top members in there. Oh, I can't believe we actually lost the tank division. Oh, that's so bad. So bad. Oh, what do we, what can we do? Oh, investments. Yes. Add them in. Do us next. Uh, civilian factories. We can trade away stuff. That's fine. Okay, that cost us an entire tank division, which really is not good. Oh, crap, French Empire, why? Why do you have these difficulties right now? Yes, they've joined, which is awesome. I want to finish this episode by killing these guys off. So let's give it a little bit of time. we got plenty of fuel, so that means... Come over here. Decrease it by another two. Increase this by another two as well. Good. Uh, oh, we can actually build ourselves up a little bit more. Do that. Uh, bop, bop, bop. That'd be good. Bop it up right there. Do more. And then do some more right here. We might get more dockyards, maybe. I guess we could get maybe that much more. It's not really super important. That's fine. 
Who won the war against these pieces of garbage? You guys do that. How is Venezuela doing, actually? Well, they're doing better against them. I might have to go to war with Colombia for this. We'll see what happens. Come on. I just want to kill these guys off. Why is no one else attacking them? Yes, it's fine. Oh, Union of South Africa. Uh, America. How about the Germans for now? Maybe we'll do America next. I know they, they've they really tried to invest in us. Or really tried to invest in them. Hey, they're dead. Great. You know what? I guess that's going to end today's episode there because we are struggling a little bit because we are out of manpower. But what else is new, my friends? I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when hopefully we can capitulate the commune of France and take out a good chunk of Germany. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.